So this is the huge project that I created for project eight, exercise three of my fine art degree, my first year, my first module. So um, this work was uh, expressionism and I've sped this video up as you can see, just so that it didn't take forever. So I um, tied some cups, mixed some acrylic paint with water and I drilled holes of various sizes into three different cups. And here I am using various broom handles, which I've then attached the cups to. And I'm sprinkling the paint down. I'm not actually going this fast, it is sped up. Um, but yeah, so I'm sprinkling the paint down onto the canvas, which is actually three sheets of wallpaper. So uh, the canvas itself um, measured around 12 foot by six foot, if I remember correctly. Um, and the acrylic paint that I used was black and blue, green, and then I also went in with some orange, which then I manually sprayed down onto the paper, which you'll see in just a sec. Um, as you can see through each one, I have to keep mixing up the paint so that the consistency pours out quite evenly. And I move around the canvas. Um, I've taken my shoes off so that I can just walk around the canvas and I can get on the canvas um, in a moment, I will use my feet to smudge the paint. I'm not particularly overly concerned about where I'm walking because my feet marks will add to the drawing in itself. And that's something that I wanted to add into this painting. It's not something that I just wanted to do with just sprinkling the paint. So here I am going in with my feet and I'm spreading just marks and not really thinking about what I'm trying to achieve as such. Just making marks with my feet and exploring the paint with my feet just so that we get some different varieties of textures onto the canvas, different marks, um, so it's not just the splatters. I now go in with my hands, as you can see. Please excuse me at the moment. I have an ulcer and it is huge, so my face is very swollen. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going in with my hands and I'm just adding some hand prints to the canvas so that it's not just footprints. And here is the final design and how it looks from various different angles. Thank you for watching. I hope that you like this piece.